Baby Lim, Baby Lim. Yeah, Cal. Everyone missed you at the party. What are you doing here? Well, I just couldn't help but think about what the Dark Slayer said. I mean, he sounded so serious. I can't help but feel bad for him. All that bullying corrupted him into becoming the person he is today. If he's spending so much time coming up with his big revenge plot, then it's really going to be something big and bad for all of us. I mean, what would this mean for Capital City? For us? I don't want to lose my friends. <laughs> oh, baby lamb. I don't think there's anything to worry about. See, if he really was serious about his old revenge plot and trying to destroy the world, we'd all be dead by now. Gee, thanks. But look, he's just a little man lost in a great big world. Look around you, baby lamb. Out there is a world filled with opportunity. The possibilities are limitless. And you know what you should do once opportunity knocks? Mm, check to see if they're Jehovah's Witnesses? No, it, oh, yes, but you open it. See, I don't think anything bad's ever gonna happen to us. He just saying that just to make us scared. <laughs> but we're not scared, right? I guess, but, well, I'm still nervous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby lamb, you're six years old, and yet you have the nerves of a hormonally imbalanced teenager. Uh, Okay. Listen, no matter what, we're always going to be here for each other. We always have our backs. If anything stands in the way between us and happiness, then we'll be there to kick its butt. <laughs> Thanks, Cal. You know I feel much better. My pleasure, baby lamb. Come on, let's go back inside. Hey, what about that rock? I don't know what the hell is doing there. <laughs>